So we're looking at John's 1963 GMC pickup. It's got a lot of upgrades on it, airbags, LS motor, dual master cylinder, booster, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade the wiper motor too. Now there's a couple of different choices in wiper motors and um, I've never actually seen this one, but they tell me they're out there. So you'll notice that the face on this is just round. So all you gotta do is just climb up underneath your dash, take a look and see if it's round or if it's like this right here. Now this is the one I typically see and this is the one that's in the truck. So this is what we're gonna be using right here. Now installation's not that big of a deal, but there's a couple of little kitches. So I'm gonna show you what those kitches are. So you stay tuned, you hear? So I'm going to start on the outside because I got to get these arms off and everything. Now the wiper arms right here, they can be difficult to come off sometimes and the reason being is that there's a little clip right here. Can you see that? So that clip right there, it has to come back a little bit in order to um, get the arm off here. Now a lot of times they don't even hold on there or they broke off or they're going to hold it on like cement. But you want to get a, a plastic spatula kind of thing like this, get a, uh, something to protect your paint, and then just slowly pry it off. So we just got a series of screws going down the front of the cow here holding it on. And uh, one of the things you're going to want to do before you order your motor is you're going to want to take a look at your blades, your arms, and all that kind of stuff. This rubber right here, it's typically old and tired, and it's going to need to be replaced. These screws, they're relatively um, specific in their size and their shape, so you can order these also at the same time. Just get the whole kit and caboodle at once so you don't have to get back on the phone and order and wait. You want to do this job in one day and be done with it. So that's just going to come off right and easy like that. Now I want you to notice these slots right here, four of them. And then right here is where they engage when we put it back together again. So right here, this arm, it's bolted on. Uh, here it has a clip, here it's got a bolt, and here it has a bolt. We want to unbolt it from right here. And that is actually a 716, so I'm going to need to get a different wrench. But when you put it on there, it's generally going to be jammed up. Get some WD-40 on there if you can. But you're going to want to put your wrench on there and give it a quick little wrap like that. Because if you just take it and you torque it, a lot of times it'll just turn. So you're going to need to give it a quick little wrap just to break it loose. And then you'll be able to get that. Give me a second here. So we got our nut off there. And then we want to gently pry that arm off. It uh, can also be stuck on there over the years and everything, so it might take a little bit. Move it back and forth. Been on for a long time, so there we go, comes off. And these arms are actually still good. And how you're gonna know they're good is uh, mainly the serrations on the edge right here. These will typically just get wasted over the years, but these are looking really nice, so I'm gonna be able to reuse those. I don't have to take these off from right here. Now, if yours are bad, we make them new, and they come with this right down here already attached. Now, over the years in the past, man, these were really hard to come by, so it is just fantastic that they make these new. Take advantage of that. Now, I'll climb inside. Now, whenever you're working on your electrical, it's always a good idea to disconnect your battery. So, I've disconnected my battery, and now I'm ready to get into this guy. It's only held on by three uh, little screws. Uh, you've got an air hose in the way, and uh, a lot of times you're going to have a radio in the way. There'll just be two nuts that are holding it on right here, and a lot of times there's a brace in the back. So I would get that out of there if um, it's in your way. The heater's not in our way in this case, so I can go ahead and get to those three little screws right there. They are just one here, one at the very bottom, and then one off to the side. 
And now when I take these off, I'll take the bottom one off first and then I'll take the top ones off and then it'll just come right off in my hand. So give me two seconds here and we'll see what happens next. Now there's a gasket on here and it's been in there for a long time so it'll help hold it on. So you just have to bump it a little bit to get it off. All right, so here we can see that we know we've got the right one. Two bolt holes at the top, two bolt holes at the top, one at the bottom, one at the bottom. So it looks a little bit different, but most of your upgrades will. Now before I install this, I'll need to install this gasket right here so we make sure that no water comes on in. And then I can go ahead and install it. It comes with a set of um, screws washers, lock washers, and everything like that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use these new ones instead of the old ones. And all I gotta do is just put it right back in like I did, take it out. So two seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, so the little screws that come with it, you've got your lock washer, you're gonna put that on first. Then you're gonna put a washer on it. So I'll get all three set up and ready to go. And then before I install this gasket and put it up on there, what I'm gonna to wanna to do is put a little bit of silicone on either side, and that just helps uh, keep it sealed up and uh, keep uh, the water out. So just a little bit. And then when I install this, what I'm gonna do is install my upper screws first because that'll help hold it in there. And you can see the ample wiring we get here. Show you how that goes together in just a minute. So my motor's all attached, now I can take care of the wiring. It's pretty simple. We've got our switch right here. We're just gonna be hooking up the uh, white, the blue, the red, the yellow. Now, if you don't remember that, it's okay because we got instructions for that. The red is gonna be to your power and the black, of course, is your ground. So we're just gonna find a nice place to ground this out for the um, black wire. And then the power wire, I'm going to go ahead and attach to the power wire that came off the old uh, wiper motor. So that should be all good to go. And then I can go ahead and install this in the dash. Just wanted to show you how that simple one set up. And this is the switch that comes with your kit. If you wanted intermittent, uh, wiper control, then we've got this switch right here. It's a little bit bigger and bulkier, but it's no big deal because it all fits behind the dash and you won't see any of that. So if you want intermittent uh, switch, you're gonna need to order that separate, okay? So now that I've got all this set up, um, I'll go ahead and go to the outside and show you what's up out there. Now I can go ahead and I can attach my old arms back up onto my motor. What I want you to notice is that this is slotted. It's not just a regular hole. So can you see that there? So when we uh, install this, the shaft that's coming out of the motor, it has a slot also, and we just have to match those slots up in order to get this to bolt on. So I'll get those lined up. The nut that comes with it, it has a nylon lock on it, so that is going to work as a lock, and you don't have to worry about putting a um, lock washer on there. Now, before I put my cowl back on, I'm going to want to get a little bit of grease up on all of the movable joints. Make sure they last as long as we can. Get a little bit on these guys. Okay, so we're ready to go now. <clears throat> Uh, when we put our cowl back on, we're getting our slots right here. We're aiming them right up to these protrusions. Getting it lined up. Put our rubber back on. Now, if you're putting new rubber on, put it out in the sun for a while. Let it get nice and uh, warm. It'll be easier to use. 
and then you'll know which way to install it. You can see this right here. Maybe you can see it. It's got these ridges right here, and it's got this notch right here. The other side doesn't have any of that. That side that doesn't have anything, that's going to be going on the outside. The ridges and the notch going to be going on the underneath the cow. Now, this one's already been installed, and it's brand new, so it's all ready to go. But let's say, for instance, you got a brand new one and it didn't have the holes in it already, what you would do is simply get this centered left or right, and then you would start in the center. You would just get a pokey thing and all, and poke around till you find the hole, give it a little bit of a punch, then you'll be able to get your screw in, and you want to start in the center, and then work your way out this way, and work your way out that way. We don't want this to be bunched up or anything like that. It might um, give us a problem when we shut the hood. So let me get this on here, and then we will get the rest of everything on. So we're all done. We're ready to install our arms now. What I like to do is turn the um, motor on and off a couple of times. Make sure that when it's going back and forth, when I turn it off, it is stopping in the same place. And then I can go ahead and put my uh, wiper arms on here. Now you got to still be careful though, because sometimes the extra drag uh, from the wiper arms being on there, it'll stop in a different position. It might go further and scratch your paint here. So you got to be careful of that. So turn when you turn it on next time just watch where the blades are going make sure that they're not smashing into your paint they're going out weird or whatever readjust and you're all set to go my name is david welch i'm at brothers tech center as often as i can be so that we can get your truck back on the road looking good and be safe you make sure you check us out on facebook and instagram whatever they've come up with next and subscribe to the youtube channel because um I don't know. Subscribe, damn it. If you've already subscribed, subscribe again. We'll see you next time.